Well, hello everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? Tonight's beverage of choice, just, where's it at? Just Diet Pepsi. Um, <laughs> so I just uh, felt like I shouldn't drink anymore tonight. Tonight's shave is gonna be kind of exciting. I um, was walking around in Singapore here tonight. Oh, by the way, this is Saturday and I've got, I think three days of growth. But anyways, I was walking around Singapore today and I found something that I, I believe this is supposed to be disposable. Um, I have seen this on YouTube, I think only one other time, maybe two times. But the the person that stands out in my mind that had used something very similar is Rick the Stick. So this, but I think his might have been a different brand, but it's all the same shit. So this is... Uh, let me go ahead and I'll, I'll show you the package. I've already torn it out of the package, but this is the package that it comes in. Let's see if you guys can see the Supermax Quick Shaver. Quick Shaver. It comes with two blades. This is it. So this is even more basic than that Wilk Wilkinson Sword um, DE that Flash Borden recently used, but look at this. This is it. This little tab on the side, it just opens up like this. <laughs> and the DE blade just sits right inside there. Bam, done. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this tonight and we're gonna try it with the blades that it came with. It came with two super, two Supermax super stainless blades, high quality stainless steel. That's them right there. So made in India. We'll see how these go. Um, soap tonight. Also something else that I found here locally. And, you know, I've, the last time, that I, I can't say the last time, but um, a few trips ago to Singapore, I bought this. And unfortunately, the, that one tube that I got, I didn't like the smell. I think maybe I had an, uh, just a bad batch or something, but I bought this the other day. And I'll be honest with you, it smells freaking fantastic. Fantastic. I love the scent, it's nice and strong. It's, just, just smelling it from the tube, probably good four, three to four easily, easily a four. Um, but I haven't shaved with it yet. I've done some practice lathers. I've been using it to break in a, a, my, uh, just continuing to break in with my, my sterling brush, which is what I'll be using tonight. Um, Manny from SoCal Shave says, dude, just don't give up, keep using it. So I'm doing what I can to break it in. I mentioned in my last video that uh, Russell Barton from Wild West Shaving Co. had suggested that I soak it in um, Coca-Cola or perhaps Pepsi for a while, so that's what I did. And I shampooed it, conditioned it, and I've just been letting it soak and I've been lathering it for the past few days, so we'll just see how that goes. Um, all right, before I, I, I start the lather, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to load this blade for you guys real quick, okay? And I, just in case if this goes really bad, I've got the guy on standby. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and let me open this guy. So, okay, double wrapped. There you go, see, I don't think you guys can see that. It's, it's double wrapped, so the blade is also wrapped in a wax paper. It's got some glue buds, but super, super tiny. Very, very small amount. All right. Now, if there's... There's one... Okay, there's a couple tabs to kind of line up the blade here. That's it. Oh, my God. This looks so freaking mild. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, let me wet my face. Then I'm going to put some of the um, cream on and start building a lather. Cold water. So how's everybody doing this weekend? So like I said before, I think I said it, it's Saturday night here in Singapore, which should be Saturday morning in the US. Um, other parts of the world, maybe Saturday morning. I think 
Australia is a couple hours ahead of me, so Saturday night as well. Alright. Man, this smells great. Now, I think we all know this does not smell hardly anything like the original Shulton Old Spice. I've never used the original Old Spice Shave Soap, but when I was in um, high school and junior high, I used Old Spice religiously. I was this, I was a Old Spice guy, right? And I, I loved it. Even, uh, <laughs> you know, never mind. I, I won't say that, but uh, just in case my wife watches this, <laughs> I won't say anything. <laughs> Uh, if you want to know that story, just PM me. Alright, so I got a little bit of water in here. A little bit. We'll just go ahead and see what we can do with the leather here. But yeah, so... One reason why I'm not, I'm not drinking right now is... Number one, alcohol in Singapore is expensive. It really is. Um, if you go out to a restaurant to get a beer I mean it's gonna cost you minimum 10 bucks for a pint at dinner time the off hours it'll be six to eight dollars it's so hard to pay that much you know and it just sucks so I was looking at some uh, bottles of wine today and a uh, I think you guys know Jacob's Creek. That one is $40 for a bottle of Merlot. And I'm just like, oh, I can't do it. So, and you know, if anybody watches the channel that does a lot of traveling for work, or just traveling in general, you know you can um, join the points programs at the hotels and do your best to stay at the same hotel chain. You know what I mean? Well, I've been doing that for the past couple of years. A couple, more like five years. And, um, no longer, but that's another story. And, um, so, you know, you're, as you stay at these hotels for so many days, you get your status increases. Added some water. And you, you become like, you know, gold and platinum and whatever levels. Well, knock on wood, some of the hook now, some hotels I stay at, I get access to the lounge area and um, they offer free cocktails. So, and that's from like 5.30 to 7.30 local time. So, um, it's not bad leather. I'm not quite there. I apologize, guys. So, you know, at this hotel that I'm staying at, I get access to the, to the lounge and cocktail hour and hors d'oeuvres. And it's from uh, 5.30 to 7.30. I'm lucky on this trip because I'm just... I'm an, ins I'm, uh, I'm an ins assistant instructor. <laughs> Man, I can't freaking talk. And uh, so... My schedule is pretty much set. I can get to the hotel by 5.30. Um, and I can come up to happy hour. And they got... They don't have a full bar, not at this hotel. But they got enough to uh, get the job done. You know, I don't drink beer anymore. I think you guys know that by now. But they got some wine. Wine is keto friendly. So I have a couple glasses of wine. They, they, they have some snacks and hors d'oeuvres and stuff, but most of the time, they're not keto friendly. So I kind of have to stay away from those. Hmm. Like I said, guys, I have not done any face lathers with this, just a bowl lather. So they can get the brush soaking or... Uh, breaking in but this is nice I'm enjoying the scent 
nice and strong, which I like. I like the strong scent in soap. Nice. All right, let's get this real show on the road. I know, 10 minutes in. Typical, typical. All right, so you guys can see that. Let me see here. Focus. Really not much blade exposure. Can you guys see? There's like hardly any freaking gap. I hope this thing can shave my whiskers off. Here we go. It's light, really, 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 really light. Ooh, can you hear? Hmm. So, okay. It's not bad. So far. But I haven't got to my trouble areas yet. This is fairly clean for me. Not too bad. But I don't shave half of my damn face. Okay, one thing I, I do notice, I have to push a little bit. Does that make any sense? So it's not the most efficient, it's definitely by far not the most efficient blade, but guys, I paid like a dollar for this thing. The blade. Ugh. My whiskers. My chin, not so good. You know what's funny though? These blades for me are better than the Rockwells. <laughs> How sad is that? Ooh, ouch. Sensitive area. So that one, where I said ouch, that got some whiskers that were against the grain. Ooh. It's really easy to find the angle of, angle of this blade, or on this eraser. Not bad. Definitely something they could do in a pinch. Hmm. The soap is doing fantastic. Or I should say cream. And I, 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 I'm liking the scent of it. So, I mean, like a lot of, like a lot of um, cheaper creams, there's basically almost no residual slickness, um, but for the cost and for what it is, it's Old Spice, I mean. Let me um, add a few drops of water and just see what I can do about building a leather. So, with me breaking in this brush some more, it still hasn't quite softened up. It's, it's a little bit better, so I do have some 
my faith is kind of renewed in this brush. It seems like it's softened up a little bit this week. Maybe soaking it in the uh, cola helped. All right, this is good. All right, let's try this cross grain. Dude, guys, did you guys watch um Old Ribs um live shave the other day? <laughs> he issued a challenge. <laughs> he issued a challenge to myself, Spencer from Spencer Shaves. And Kai from Kai Triska, or Kai Triska, he said, if any one of us will get a crew cut, he will shave off his stash. Now, I think you guys can understand or appreciate how big of a challenge that is. But, now, I can't remember if it was Rib or if it was Brown Man who initiated the challenge first. One of those two guys said, look, so someone, I, I, don't, I think it was Rib. Oh, I think I got my lip. He said, okay, Brown Man, if you use a shave it to shave your head, I will shave mustache. And I think maybe, yeah, no, no residual. And Brown Man was like, okay, you shave your stash. I'll do a Kamasori head shave or a shave head head shave or whatever. Maybe it was Kamasori, I can't remember. But then, freaking Rib will call out us young guys. Well, okay, I'm not, I'm not that young. I'm younger than Kai and Spencer. I'm younger than Marcos, actually. Or, I mean, I'm older than Marcos. Shoot. <laughs> we were chatting a little bit. And they said, of all those three, Leroy, you're probably the guy with the bigger balls to do it. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I'll do it, but I need to ask permission. Happy wife, happy life. If you guys know what I mean. This thing is, it's not a bad little razor. It's pretty freaking mild. I'm gonna say something that a lot of people are gonna say I'm freaking crazy. And then you guys are probably say, oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about or what the hell you're talking about. But you know what? I'm getting a better shave with this than I, than I do with my uh, freaking Merc 34C. Explain that one to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just a blade angle. Thirty four C is very sentimental to me because it was the first razor that I ever got, and I, I got it for my wife for my birthday. <clears throat> that was my um, introduction to the wet shaving world, as far as razors go. It's a beautiful little razor, but. God dang, man, I just cannot get a close shave with it. I don't know why. Something about it. Oh, Chris Madden's been doing some pretty good videos recently. You guys see his mail call video? Lather Brothers? Oh my God, their labels are freaking amazing. Fantastic. It's 
blade isn't so bad. It's probably, mm, it's pretty mild, smooth. It's just actually pretty smooth. And like I said, with the weight of this thing, the way this is designed, you can actually kind of push a little bit. You can give it some pressure. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out. I, I got some alum here. I'll, I'll use alum. Just to see how crappy the shave was. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys are having some great shades. I hope I'm going to go home next weekend. I think I will. Oh. I don't know if you guys saw that, but if that was with any other razor, I would have fucked my chin up. Apologize for the language. It's pretty smooth. Not too bad. I did got some weepers, but that's just from overshaving. Oh, this the scent of this soap is really nice. I know it's not the it's not original Shulton. We know that stuff is locked away somewhere. I hope they bring it back. I'm trying to get this part. This part's pretty difficult for me. All right, we're done. I think we're done enough. I didn't have to bust out the wig, which I'm kind of bummed. I sort of wanted an excuse to use that. <laughs> Let's see what I have left in the uh, brush here. Not too much. Yeah, I'm not expecting very much from post shave. Hardly anything at all, actually. rinsing out the brush a little bit. Let me rinse my face off real quick. <clears throat> Alright, I mean, overall, it wasn't a bad shave. It was actually a really good shave. Um, Let's see what the Allen block says. So this is my little piece of Allen block. I told you guys that I had a, it broke on me. And I don't use Allen very often. Yep, right here. Not too bad. Just a couple of my normal sensitive spots. Okay, I'll take it. So this, for Singapore, is a very, 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 very budget shave. I mean, this thing was a dollar sixty Singapore, which is roughly a dollar US. This tube of um, shave cream is a dollar ninety Singapore, which is roughly like a dollar forty or something like that US. Um, okay, you can't buy this this sterling brush here, but they sell Omega board brushes here for about six Singapore dollars, which is close to five five fifty. And for blades, if you look around. You can get some blades for some really good prices. Like for example, um, you can get a, a hundred pack of Gillette Super Stainless for right around there. They're, I think they're listed as, I think the stores will sell them for around 12 Singapore dollars, which is what, 11, 10 to 11 US dollars for a hundred pack. They got Gillette Platinums for about the same price. I saw a 50 pack of um, Gillette Wilkinson Swords for Right around four dollars, 
what else? I mean, I've seen, um, what else? I saw some Supermax. I saw, what else did I see? I, not, not, not a whole lot of choices now. Their, their, their choices are getting a little smaller here, which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, like, a, from a couple of years ago, there was a, a, a lot more choices. Um, but, but not so much anymore. All right, guys. That's it for t tonight's shave. Oh, this thing comes off. <laughs> I'm not sure why. That was weird. I don't know. Okay, but tonight's shave was really a budget shave for Singapore. All right, so this is the um, Super Max Quick Shaver. Oh, this is the back of the uh, package here. You guys can see that. This is it right here. It came with two blades, two Super Max blades. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and I'll open it up like this. Take out the blade right there. There it is. Kind of cool. I guess it's only a buck. I may give a, might go pick up a few more of these and who knows. Uh, brush of the night. My Sterling Bore. I've mentioned it before. I'm not. I'm still on the fence about this bad boy. I love the freaking handle. The handle is fantastic. I mean, I bought the synthetic too, right? With the, the green accent. So I love this handle. But I'm still on the fence of this damn uh, knot. Uh, man, he keeps telling me, don't give up, bro. Don't give up. So I'll hang in there. Soap was Old Spice original. Smell like a man. Smell like a man. Uh, I didn't put any post shave on yet. Ah, oh, man, shit. This thing is going on longer than it should. A little bit of witch hazel. Nice, nice, nice. And the only aftershave that I brought, oh, Osage rum. I've got to have some sort of menthol. Singapore's hot as hell. Humid? Oh my God, it's so humid. And it's been raining the past few days, like in the morning and at night. Oh. I think because of the uh, Allen block that I put on, there's no burn. Just cold. Five and one. Great stuff. Really great stuff. I missed a little bit right there. Like I said, it's not the, it's a pretty mild razor, very mild. So I mean, you can really, you can push, you can put, give some pressure to the skin. I mean, you can really, I won't say dig in, but you can actually really apply some pressure to it, um, which is really weird and not normal for your typical DE shaving, right? Um, but I mean, it gave a pretty good shave for a dollar. Came with two blades. Um, Again, depending on your hair growth, you might get three or four shaves out of this blade, you know, and you got two of them. So there's a month worth, well, okay, not a month, but a couple weeks worth of um, shaves right there just with two, with a, a dollar, just spending a dollar, right? And then, you know, you got the, um, you need shave cream, of course, Old Spice, dollar, dollar ninety local money. You know, you can, you can look on the interwebs and find out how much that is in your country, but, but yeah, so... This is a very budget shave tonight. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I I don't know what I'm going to be doing this week yet. Um, let me know what you, let me know what you guys want to see. I mean, I've I've got the Kai still um, two shaves on this guy. I've got this. That was a shave cream. I've got this. I brought my um, uh, Tampa Shave Co Heavyweight that I brought with me. That uh, Kenny Rebra gave me. That's the only DE I brought with me on this trip. Then, of course, I've, I've got my Kamasori that I usually take with me. And I also have a, 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 um, the Samurai, Blue Samurai Shavette. So, guys, let me know what you guys want. Let me know what you want to see uh, for soaps. I mean, I've got my Sterling. I've got some Vanulay samples. I've got some Bear Sermon Reserve samples. And then I've got this um, Old Spice here. Um, so... Chime in below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And 
thanks again for everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that shade. It wasn't a bad shade, like I said. You know, I mean, it's a, like a little weeper. No, hardly very, very little irritation. So, what more can you? What come? You can be more happy, right? <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I did have a couple of drinks tonight. Like I mentioned, happy hour. They they give me free wine. It's expensive here in Singapore, so why not get it free while you can? And I can spend my money on shaving shit. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks again. Um, until next time, hopefully a couple days. And just chime in below what, what you would like to see, all right? Um, thanks for joining me, everybody. Thanks for all you subscribers. Um, and if you like what you see, hit the like button or, you know, more importantly, I think I, I like comments. So please chime in below. Let me know what you guys think, ways I can improve. Um, I know sometimes I can ramble on and I know I take a long time for my lathers. People give me shit about that all the time. But you know what? I enjoy it, so I don't care. <laughs> you guys can fast forward. <laughs> okay, everybody. Take care. I hope you all have a fantastic freaking weekend. And maybe my next shave will be Monday or Tuesday, okay? Take care. Have a great weekend. Thanks again, guys. Peace. Don't text and drive.